Yo! What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy AJ, back at you again with another Grand Theft Auto 5 online video. Today's video, it is a brand new, okay, brand new solo unlimited money glitch. You will not have to use the vending machine for this glitch. I know a lot of my subs and a lot of people were commenting on my last video saying they couldn't get it to work because of the vending machine. I got you. I just wanted to go ahead and get this out there. But before we talk about all the requirements and what you need to do, uh, I just want to announce I'm still doing that $9 million giveaway. I'm going to pick a winner in... I think the next video if not the one after that okay so y'all comment blow up the comments follow all the steps I will be checking and I will be picking a winner here very very soon so let's go ahead and get into it first thing you want to go ahead and do is in your settings you want to make sure in your controls you're in a targeting mode of free aim okay so your targeting mode is going to want to be on free aim all right and if you want to change that you can go to creator mode or you can go to story mode to change it all right so from there what you want to do is order a free allergy and put it in your facility so you're going to go to Legendary Motorsports, you're going to go to Sort by Price. Now a lot of you probably have already done this, good job. And you want to go ahead and purchase free allergy and put it inside of your facility. Okay, boom, done. Two steps are done, you're in a free aim lobby. I'm in an invite only, okay, if some of you were wondering. And from here you want to make sure that the car you want to duplicate is in the back of your MOC. So once I enter my MOC, as you can tell, I'm duping the Future Shock AC. It sells for about 1.8 to 1.9 million every single time I duplicate it, which takes me about five to six minutes. Uh, so from here, you just take it out of the MOC. You're gonna end up spawning in this little parking spot. What you're gonna do from here is just pull it off to the right a little bit. You don't have to park it in the same exact spot I do. Just I figured it works right here best for me. So right there, you just get out of the vehicle. And you're going to go ahead and leave your bunker. Now, from here, you are not going to want to call in a personal vehicle at all, okay? Um, you can job teleport if you do want to. If you do know how to do that, you can job teleport. But I'm just going to go ahead and fly my buzzard to my facility to be safe. So once you exit, um, I'm going to go ahead and explain one more thing that you need to do. You want to go to your down to your hide options. And you want to make sure that your jobs and events are all on show and it says custom okay so when you open up your map you can see all of your missions just like this like I said most of you have probably already done this and y'all are just waiting for me to get to the facility part um, but from here you just want to go ahead and if you're in a motorcycle club disband it and go to Securo serve register as CEO go to Securo serve CEO vehicles and get a buzzard and I'm gonna go ahead and fly to my facility Alrighty, so I spawned in my facility. You just want to make sure that you see your free allergy somewhere. So um, I can see it actually right over there. It's the black and gray one. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and walk over here. So I don't even have a lot of upgrades in my facility, to be honest. I think I just had the living quarters because that was <laughs> I needed that for a glitch. But this is what you want to have. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think everyone might have this in their facility. I'm not totally sure, but I think everyone should. So from here, you want to walk up to this guy right here. You want to make sure it says right on the D-pad. Um, up in the top left, it's going to say, press right on the D-pad to access, okay? From here, you're going to do the pause start glitch. So you're going to hold the pause button down, the options button on your controller, okay? Xbox and PS4, hold down the options. Now, as soon as you let go, a millisecond after, you're going to click right on the D-pad, and he's going to kind of say something to you. So listen. So right there, as you as you can see, he kind of like said something to you. That's what you want to look for. And, you, you know, when you're in here, you would you, you just kind of want to keep spamming on it. Um, I mean, you don't have to. I'm not saying do it and do it now. But I'm saying, you know, whenever you're doing it. So whenever you back out, as you can see, I'm in the interaction menu in the top left. That's exactly what you want to have, okay? So I'm just going to do it again. So I'm going to hold the pause button. And as soon as I release, I'm going to click right on the D-pad. And you're going to li kind of listen for him to say something. And that's how you're going to know if you hit it or not. So as you can see, like I was scrolling a lot once I got in here. That just means that like you were pressing right on the D-pad a lot, okay? So from here, once you're in here, you're just gonna go to online, you're gonna go to criminal enterprise starter pack, you're gonna back out of that. I'm pretty sure that you don't have to do that, but it works for me more often if I do it that way. From here, I'm gonna click the big button on the PS4 to view the map. Okay, for Xbox, I'm not sure what you have to do, but you'll know what to do whenever you get to this point. Um You're gonna just literally this it's this simple. Are you ready? You're gonna hover over mission, ready? Actually, let's try a different one. Uh, let's let's just, let's just go crazy. Let's do this one, all right? We're going to go square. We're literally going to sit on this screen, and as soon as we accept it, we're going to just click circle. We're going to start spamming circle, okay? So listen, I'm going to click X and then start spamming circle. Click X, spam circle. 
a bunch just like that so just like that as you can see in the bottom right hand screen um, there is a loading symbol um, so from here you're just gonna go ahead and walk out and you're gonna go ahead and go to your free allergy so once you make your way to the free allergy I told you to get once you get in let the exhaust go ahead and start up so as you can see it starts now from here this is why you were in a free aim session because about 80 to 90 percent of the people that are playing online are usually in a assisted aim partial or assisted um, full so from here you just want to click the PlayStation button Xbox users you'll know what to do from here you're just going it works the same exact way it's just a different layout you're gonna go over here to view all players okay and you're just gonna find someone to join none of these people absolutely do not even know I'm joining them at all so let's just find someone to join real quick I'm literally going to use this person right here. I'm going to hold down on the R2 as soon as I join him. Keep holding down. Keep holding down. Keep holding down this whole entire time. Do not let go. You're going to accept, deny, accept, just like that. And you're going to let go as soon as he gets out the vehicle. Everything should kind of disappear in your facility. And then, boom, once everything starts to spawn back in, you'll go ahead and spawn out. Once you spawn outside of your facility, you're going to be at a totally different facility. Um, Sometimes you're not at a different facility, but most of the time for me, I spawn at a completely different facility. So as you can see, I was um, way over here at my facility. But from here, you're still not going to want to request a personal vehicle. You're going to go back to the CEO vehicles and get that free buzzard again. Uh, mine is, I think, free because, like I said, I own it. But uh, I think it's only like ten to 20000 so I would definitely spend the money. It's definitely worth it. So from here, you're just going to fly over to your bunker. Alrighty, so I just got to my bunker. I walked in, and as you can see, the Future Shock AC or whatever car you're duplicating should still be there. Once you get in, you're just going to take it up to the back of the MOC, and this is when the actual car duplicates. So you're just going to go ahead and click right on the D pad, and it's going to say personal vehicle storage is full. You're just going to accept that alert, and it's going to go ahead and drive in. Now, the car in the facility is. Um, is the original and this is the duplicate okay so the car in the back of the MOC is the duplicate so this one will sell for a little bit less than the original but it's not by much but yeah man that's it for this video I'll catch you on the next one peace